poor circulation in the hands causes and symptoms poor circulation occurs when there is reduced blood flow to a specific part of the body poor circulation in the hands may result from a health condition or certain aspects of a person's lifestyle the heart beats to pump blood all around the body blood carries essential nutrients and energy to cells around the body including oxygen the circulatory system includes the heart and blood vessels which are responsible for carrying blood around the body poor circulation occurs when something disrupts this process preventing sufficient blood supply to some body parts conditions that may lead to poor circulation in the hands include athero atherosclerosis anemia and renaud's disease smoking may also increase the likelihood of poor circulation in this video we will examine the symptoms and causes of poor circulation in the hands we will also look at potential treatments and how to improve circulation signs and symptoms signs and symptoms of poor circulation in the hands include color the fingernails appear pale or have a blue tint temperature the fingers and hands feel cold to the touch swelling the hands may swell and be painful numbness or tingling the fingers might feel numb or have a tingling sensation blood refilling blood vessels may take longer to fill with blood for example after squeezing a finger it may take longer than 33 seconds to refill with blood mobility a person may have some difficulty moving the fingers pain severe pain in the hands and fingers may signal poor blood flow causes problems with the circulatory system are common more than 64 million people in the united states including children and adolescents have conditions affecting the heart and circulatory system there are many possible causes of poor circulation in the hands including atherosclerosis atherosclerosis is a build up of fatty substances in the arteries that restricts blood flow around the body atherosclerosis often causes no symptoms until it becomes a medical becomes a medical emergency such as a heart attack or stroke however symptoms of atherosclerosis may include chest pain pain in the limbs irregular heart beat shortness of breath treatments for atherosclerosis can include a combination of medicine and changes to one's lifestyle doctors may recommend reaching or maintaining a moderate weight or exercising regularly they may also prescribe statins to lower cholesterol anemia Anemia is a common blood disorder that affects over 3 million people in the United States. It occurs when there are not enough red blood cells or when they do not function well. Red blood cells normally carry oxygen around the body. Symptoms of anemia include shortness of breath, fatigue, dizziness, weakness, headaches, irregular heart beat, chest pain, pale or yellow skin treatments for anemia depend on its type doctors may recommend iron supplementation and dietary changes sometimes treating an underlying condition that causes anemia may be necessary some types of anemia require blood trans transfusions or ongoing use of medication renaud's disease Renaud's disease is a rare condition that causes episodes of narrowed blood vessels. Symptoms of Renaud's disease sometimes occur 
in response to cold temperatures or stress and include body parts turning pale or blue including the fingers and toes numbness or tingling pain burning sensation episodes of narrowed blood vessels can last minutes or hours and vary in frequency doctors may suggest some strategies to alleviate renowned disease symptoms such as practicing stress management and avoiding the cold if symptoms are severe a doctor may recommend medication or surgery smoking smoking can increase the risk of peripheral arterial disease a condition stemming from a narrowing of the arteries caused by a build up of plaque this can lead to amputations smoking can also increase a person's risk of blood clots because it makes blood stickier and more prone to clotting quitting smoking will reduce this risk a person may experience withdrawal symptoms when quitting smoking a person can choose from a number of strategies for quitting smoking including the different methods using prescription medicines from a doctor and trying nicotine replacement patches gums or lozenges diagnosis if a person has poor circulation in their hands regularly a doctor will ask about symptoms and perform a physical examination they may check a person's temperature and the appearance of the hands and fingers a doctor may also check whether a person has any pain or numbness in the affected area test that can help doctors check how the circulatory system is functioning include blood test chest x-rays electrocardiograms ct scans a doctor may also use test to check for specific underlying conditions for example they may order a cold stimulation test to check for renaud's disease how to improve circulation looking after the heart and blood vessels may help a person improve their circulation tips for general heart health include following a healthful diet exercising regularly maintaining or reaching a moderate weight quitting smoking staying informed about risk factors and signs of poor circulation managing stress when to contact a doctor symptoms of poor circulation in the hands can occur temporarily and do not always indicate a health condition for example cold temperatures may cause poor circulation symptoms including numb and pale fingers however when these symptoms occur regularly it could be a sign of an underlying condition a person should seek guidance from a doctor if symptoms of poor circulation in the hands happen frequently without an appropriate apparent cause certain symptoms that may indicate a medical emergency and a need for immediate medical help include confusion dizziness chest pain difficulty speaking or thinking difficulty breathing loss of consciousness severe headache